About one year into a new bicycle safety enforcement program, the Austin Police Department says they still need to educate drivers. The patrols targeting people who get too close to cyclists are generating dozens of tickets. As KXAN's Chris Davis explains, that's the problem. The streets are alive. John Henry Charles with the sound of the morning commute. It's a flatbed tow truck. But these two bike commuters are watching you. I would say our average is between three to six an hour. APD relies on street clothes and this device to measure how close a car gets when passing. It's going to be 31 inches. If it's under three feet for most cars. Texas handicap plate on a Hyundai. Officer Rhiannon Cunningham calls it in. It's still driving in the bike lane coming up to Burleson. What we found when we started doing the operations is that most people weren't even aware of the law. In close to 49 patrol hours over the last year, APDs issued 72 tickets and 83 warnings for passing too close or cutting off a cyclist and 49 for other behavior that endangers people on bikes. That includes 12 today, including the sedan coming past now. White Impala, Boy Tom Frank. There have been um, at least one day of operation where we had zero violations, so I consider that a huge success. To find more success in preventing close calls, Wow, do you want to stop that one? Cunningham says they need to give more presentations and just talk to more people, drivers and cyclists alike, about the law. So that the message just keeps spreading further and further. Chris Davis, KXAN News. The fine for violating the vulnerable road user ordinance is $175 plus court costs. APD is ticketing cyclists, too. On those same patrols over the last year, officers wrote a total of 12 citations and issued eight warnings to people on bicycles for violations like running red lights or riding the wrong way. The first of 12 experimental new bicycle signals is live at the intersection of Rio Grande and West 24th Street now. They're timed to give cyclists and pedestrians more time to cross. We have a list of all of the intersections they're coming to. It's on KXAN.com.